But let's clamber over to Chef Mark as he's got Cloudy Bay clams on the menu. That's right, clams, pasta, and a little bit of something different. So normally you'd put some white wine in with yes. clams. We're going to put cider in today. So cider. It makes it a bit more refreshing, a little bit sweeter. And then we've got some chorizo for a bit of spice and uh, some bacon as well. Really simple. Nice. What great flavours going on together and uh, perfect for lunch. Oh, yeah, it's going to be delicious, I am sure. Great meal to make for the weekend. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko Kitchen, number one for whiteware in the UK, but right here in the kitchen at the cafe, which is fantastic. And, Mark, we are clamouring to get to this restaurant. <laughs> Recipe. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah, that was great. I know, I worked on that all night. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Right, so we've got a clam pasta, so really classic, some great flavours in there. So we're going to start it sort of, um, you know, all at once really now. Okay, okay right. right. So we're going we're gonna to start making the uh, the base of the clam um, flavours and sauce yes. in here. Are you so right, mate? Are you right? In a rough <laughs> week. <laughs> it's Friday. Do you know what we're doing? I just try to think what we're doing. Yeah, yeah good. OK, we're starting it all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so <clears throat> chopping some shallots. Right, so I'm just going to slice some shallots. So you can use onions if you want, but it's okay. quite nice to use shallots. A little bit sweeter. We've got some garlic as well, which I'm going to slice as well, really nice and thin. Nice. So nice flavours. Mm -hmm. uh, shallot garlic and some chilli as well. Nice. And then you can pop a little bit of oil into that big pot. OK, cool. And then we'll start sweating these off. So sweat them. Uh, just bring out the flavours, soften them. Um, oil in the pot, oil in the pan? Uh, in, the, in the wok. In the pan. wok, oh, right, OK. Pan, pot, same thing. <laughs> the thing that's between a pot and a pan. A wok? No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to get those in there. A little bit of salt and pepper in, and yes. you just want to stir them around, soften them, and don't colour them, OK? We don't colour those, them? Don't colour them. OK, cool. You check me... Uh, yeah, it's something for utensil, you. thank you. Right, and then we've got another little pot here. Pan, pot. <laughs> so you can pop some oil in here, but this is going to be really, really, really hot, OK? OK. So this has been on for about five minutes or so, and you can already see the, see the, uh, you know, the smoke coming off here. So pop some oil in. OK. And you want to have your clams ready, and you want to have your liquid ready, what you're going to steam the clams with. Cider. Yeah, so we're going to use cider today. So pop your clams in. Yeah. So they go in. So you hear that sizzle. Mm-hmm. Pop some of your cider in and then pop a lid on there. So that's going to create steam and that's what's going to open the clams. And then all the juices are going to come out of the clams as they cook. It's going to mix with that sweet cider and that's going to be like the base of our um, sauce as well. OK, cool. Okay, so, so these got are that pretty good now. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Right, so now we want to get some meat in there. You know, so it's a little surf and turf recipe today. Great. So that's great. So a little bit of a chorizo uh, sausage. So a mm -hmm. little bit of spice in there. You know, you don't have to put this in if you don't want to. Or you could put a little bit of salami in if you wanted to. Anything you want. Yep. So a little bit of that goes in. So you just dice then, it up? Yeah, yep. just dice it up. You know, I mean, it's already it's already a cooked one, so you just, you know, you can get a little bit of colour on there, you're just warming it up, really. And then I've got a little bit of smoked bacon as well, so it gives us a nice little smoky mm. edge to the dish. Yeah, now we're talking. And then we're going to pop that in there, so just cut that up. And then you're going to have a look at the lid, have a look at our clams. Yep. You know, they won't take long to cook. You can already uh, yep. see some are starting to open. Yeah. But obviously you want to keep cooking it, put the lid back on. OK. Keep cooking it until all the clams um, open up. Want me to move it? There you go. So bacon goes in there, so keep cooking that. And then we're going to get our spaghetti, pop our spaghetti in here. OK, oh, so boil, it, boil in salted water. So everything's going on at once, you yeah. know? So we're a little bit flustered at the beginning of the show, but we're well on the way to getting this finished. Nice. It's like every other day around here, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is a great meal to make on a Friday, you know, because you've got beautiful, fresh flavours. As you said, it's nice and quick to get underway. And, uh, you know, nice little treat for the weekend, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. And clams are great, you know. They're, they're, they're really easy to cook. I think it scares a lot of people, you know, because they look, they look big and hard and shelly mm. and, and freak people out. Maybe, I don't know. No, no, I'm <laughs> Before not... I was a chef, they used to freak me out. Really? Yeah, but now I'm a chef and now I've cooked them and it's easy. Are and they're they really easy? good and they're, and they're really sweet as well, so there's really there's no excuse not to try it. No, you're right. And yeah. the, this will be perfect tomorrow afternoon, just before the Warriors play game three, and hopefully we'll have a third win. Haven't they been, they've been on fire recently? You follow the Warriors? Who? Who? Oh, jeez. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Okay, that's Have they been good. winning? Yeah, they've been oh, winning twice pretty... in a row. So tomorrow, let's hopefully it is three in a row. How are we looking? Yeah, so you can see all the juices coming out. So we're just going to keep it on a couple more minutes until you're all open. Okay. Once the majority are opened and you've cooked it, 
Um, any which haven't opened, obviously you need to discard those because then they're dead and you don't want to eat those. Okay, great. Cool. Thank you very much. All well, things are smelling so good around here. And if you want the recipe, of course, you can get it at thecafe.co.nz. Smelling incredible. How are the clams? Right, let's have a look at them. Look at that. They're all open. Oh. Right, so mm. be careful Brilliant. now because it's very hot. Mm -hmm. Right, we're just going to strain them off. And you want some of this liquid in here. Okay, so don't throw out the liquid. No, 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 don't throw out the liquid. So I'm just going to pop them around, let them drain off a little bit. So you can have a look. Check to see. Yeah, yeah, they're all Ooh. pretty much open. So if right. there were any not open now, just get rid of them. Don't eat them. Okay. Right, so some of this clam juice. So we've actually got, uh, so there's clam juice in there, so it's quite salty. So just be really careful and taste okay. it before you add any more salt. And you've got the sweetness of the cider in there. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go in there. So you're going to deglaze a little bit of that. You don't need to put too much in. You can always add, not take it away. I've got some cherry tomatoes as well. Nice. Just going to pop those in the last minute of cooking. You can see mm. it's sort of reducing that. You don't want to reduce it down too much. All right. So what we do, instead of reducing it down to thicken, we just add butter. We add butter. There just, you go. Just a little bit. Missed butter. that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, he says. <laughs> no, it's good. No, no it's because this is this is a, a technique called monteing. Okay. Okay. So if you just if you pull it off the flame, so it's still nice and warm, and you just sort of shake it in, the butter's just going to slowly mix in, a bit like a mayonnaise. You know, it's okay. going to blend and it's going to thicken that sauce and give us that beautiful richness. What did you call that theory? What, what do you monteing. call it? Monteing. 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 So just a flash way of saying melting. Yeah, shake, <laughs> shaking, really. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Pretty, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. That's, okay. that's what cooking is, right? Yeah. No. I'll, so I'll, you can do that. So you can see it's sort of thickening. So it's a little bit like a, a, a butter, butter, butter sauce. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So that's really good. So obviously take it off the heat now. You don't want to keep boiling, otherwise you'll okay, split cool. it. You've got your clams. Pop your clams in there. You know, Jesus, give them a nice shake fast. around. It well, looks really it. colourful too. Actually, give it a good oh, shake. Oh, it's around. packed full of flavour. Heaps of colour in there. And then just going to finish it off with some herbs. Got some flat leaf parsley, and um, some basil, some chives. You know, just a nice mixture. Whatever you want, whatever you've got growing in the garden. Just give them a rough chop, you know. And this will just give it a really good sort of aroma. That goes in there. Look at that. And then as soon as the pasta's ready as well, Brilliant. just drain it off, throw it straight in there, toss it around, serve it. Boom. Job done. Fresh, Easy. delicious. A little bit of lemon quick. juice as well. Yeah, just for just seasoning. The what do you do with it? Just squeeze it over. Yeah, yeah. Just nice. Always, always finish that? it. Bit of seafood, bit of lemon juice. Mm. Brilliant. Delicious. There you go. Okay, I cannot wait to try this a little later on in the show. Hopefully, Mark, you're not too clammy in the Becco kitchen to serve <laughs> up your clam spaghetti. Yeah, it's an oldie but goodie. I oh, know, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's looking at it and smelling incredible. Oh, look at this. Look at that. And that's what it's all about. It's all about all these colours and textures and, and listen to that. Right. When the clams hit the uh, bowl, it's beautiful. Yum. There you go, nice big hearty bowl of nice. clam pasta there. Well, mm. while everybody's going to see you at Sheridan, New Zealand, I'll be at home making this. Uh, thank you very much, <laughs> Mark. <laughs>